this video I'm going to show you how to cut the uh, balance staff from the balance. So here I've got a uh, an Elgin balance and I'm not, I'm not going to try to zoom in too much here but it's got a balance staff in here and it looks like it's riveted so which means that you've got to uh, be able to cut that away as opposed to as opposed to punching it out because if you punch it out you could um, ruin the balance itself the arms on the balance so you really don't want to be doing that so what I'm going to do is uh, use my uh, lathe and I'm going to cut the uh, balance staff away from the balance. Well the first thing you need to do is so I got some these are this is paint on my fingers by the way from uh, doing some car work and you know, my fingers are dirty and my fingernails are long from playing guitar and, and I was doing some car work there but that's not blood that's paint Anyway, so you find a uh, collet. This is a four that will fit the, the lean. This is the um, pallet. Yeah, this is the uh, the ta roller table rather roller table part of the balance, and the other part is where the hairspring is. So you need to get the right size that fits, and then what you do is you fit that in like that. Make sure that fits. That fits perfectly. Um, and then you have to put the, uh, the collet in here. So I'll fit that collet in like that. Tighten it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab the balance here and put that in place. I'm trying to keep out a camera view here so you can see what's going on. And tighten that up just a bit like that. And then I'm going to see if this actually spins. And that's yeah, pretty good. It's spinning kind of level as well. Now I got to go. I've got to get my graver out. So what I would do is set this up here so I've got a bit of an angle. Um, I don't want to touch my graver on the end here because that'll that'll ruin this. So all I want to do is cut away at the uh, let me pair of tweezers here, right here where the rivet is. So this looks like it's been riveted on. It's an ever so slight rivet on here. Um, if I'm mistaken, it's friction fit. I'll find it pretty fast, but it looks like it's riveted on there. So I'm going to cut that away. And when I make my new balance staff, I got to make sure I leave enough material sticking outward so I can re-rivet this in. And I might make a video on how to make this balance stuff, but I made a few already. So, so anyway, I got to set up the um, the tool rest. There's a tip over tool rest here, which I love. Um, and I got to set it up in a manner that it's not going to touch the balance here, but it'll be the right size for my graver to touch here, and then just cut in there. So let me go pick the graver out. Me right. So I got my graver. Here it is. Here, it's all set up. It's triangular. It's a bit big, but but um, it should work here. So I'm gonna get it nice and close here, and I'm gonna cut the triangle part of the graver at a bit of an angle, like this. I'm cutting in a bit, and then I should see when it's starting to remove material. Um, I just have to make sure everything's set up the right distance, and it is. I'll spin this for a second. It looks like it's taking material off. There we go. Now it's removing a lot of material.
And I think I've taken off enough material so that the rivet is now basically free, right? So I think this is riveted in. Let me move it a bit and see what I got here. That I don't want to take, I don't want to actually take material out of the balance itself. So we got to look in really close and make sure that I'm good, and I think I am. So what I'll do now is I've got the rivet removed, so now I'll just punch it out. So that's how you remove the material from the balance. Now when I punch it out, I should just be able to tap it, and it'll come out, and maybe I'll show you how that's done as well. So there's the balance there, and you can see how smooth it is in the center. I'm not going to point because it'll go out of focus. But I've taken the material, the rivet away from that balance, so I should just be able to tap that out now with my staking set. Hey, okay, now I've got my uh, staking set out, and I've got these punches that are used for removing stakes. And what you do is you put the you're going to be punching this out, so you have to actually align this up to the right hole to do the punching. So it's, as you can maybe perhaps see, um, this is the this is the end where the roller table is, and so this roller table end has got to be like this. So you've got to find the right hole that fits in there, so that the punch is still or the, um, the balance is flat. So you just move it along until you find the right one. There it is there. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty flat there. Yeah, because what you want to do now is you want to fit this over the top like that. And then one of these jobby doos will go over the top of that and punch it out. So based on the size of the rivet on the end, or the uh, stake, I'm thinking it's this one here. So what I'll do is I'll fit that in first and just have a look at how that fits over the top. Uh, just eyeballing it here. And so that when I punch down on this, right, it'll um, punch the uh, balance staff right out of the balance. So that's where the hole is. I just make a mental note of where that is. And then I have to get my alignment stake up, out, put that alignment stake down. Shouldn't do this through the balance, but I'm a bad boy, so. And then tighten. I did this, moved it down, then I tightened this here. Let me just make sure my hand doesn't block the video. So that's tightened up. So that's absolutely centered right now and I just have to make sure that that is you know what that's not going to work because it's not absolutely flat I gotta go one more over yeah that's better that's flat so that is where it is so now I gotta get the alignment stake out again and just pull that pull the balance out for a second let's tighten it a little bit Pull the balance out, loosen the back of the staking tool, push that in nice and tight, tighten the staking set, remove that. And sometimes when I look down at the holes, I can't figure out where they are, so just do that, stare at the hole <laughs> there. And as you can see or not see, it's very flat here because you don't want to bend the, uh, the arm of the balance. So then what you do is you take this jobby do here, right? The jobby do hickey here, and you fit it underneath like that, which stabilizes the whole thing. And then you tighten it in. I'm hoping this is the right size here. Because if it's not, then you're kind of screwed. There. And what that does is snug the balance nicely against the plate here. So that's nicely snugged in there. And it's tight. You just move the lever arm to tighten it a bit. And then I get the punch. And you should actually 
look down the hole to make sure that the punch is perfectly aligned with the top of the balance. So I gotta loosen this up a bit because this is not centered yet. So I'm gonna just back this off just a bit. And I gotta get the punch through the center. Alright, punch is through the center. Now I don't know whether that's touching yet, so what I'm gonna do is get a light and have a look in there. Just to make sure it's hitting the top of the uh, balance staff and it's not off to the side or something. So it looks it looks sort of okay. I just um, loosen up just a bit more here. I wanted to find the pivot of the balance staff. Top of the pivot of the balance staff. There we go. So that's touching it right there. So now we're going to just tighten this up a bit. And you tighten it, moving it the other way. You dummy. Like that. And then I've got it in there nice right now. And I tighten it like that. So that should do there. So now it's tight. And now I just have to punch it out, grab my handy dandy hammer, and there's the hammer, and all you do is tap, I use the metal end or the brass end of the hammer, and I should be able to just tap it, and it should come out, so if I tap it, there, that actually came out, so I'll pull, pull this out, there, and look what dropped out of the edge here, <laughs> So there, there's the balance. And I'm not sure if I can get a zoom on this, but come on, zoom for me. Oh, I gotta get a new camera or something. There we go. Get a little bit of zoom. There we go. And then I'll just set this aside somewhere with the tweezers so I don't lose it. And then what you do is you loosen this up again like that. And then you tighten that. And let me grab the balance here. And it's perfectly flat. So by using that tool, let me check that, check down the edge of it, and yeah, it's perfectly flat. So by using that tool, I'm able to extract the balance. So you saw me cut, cut the rivet away, and then use these, this tool and it's for pocket watches and watches um, and it has the different punches depending on the size of the, of the pivot on the end and you set it up, punch up the balance, you're good to go. So that's the video, hope you enjoyed it and hope you're, you've learned something here. Thank you, bye.